Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to the Flipped Classroom Tutorials channel where we make educational technology easy for you. In today's video, we're looking at WeVideo and we're going to do things a little bit different. Now, WeVideo is an incredibly powerful cloud-based video editor and I've invited over Jamie Keat from Teachers Tech and I just want to say thank you to Jamie for walking us through WeVideo. So before I get started here today on Wii Video, I just want to say a big shout out to Seti for thank you uh, for having me on his channel, his great Flip Classroom tutorial channel. I come over here lots and check it out to see all the great things he's doing. And I also wanted to thank uh, him for the video uh, about Synth, which is podcasting and bite sides. Great place for students and teachers to start podcasting. So if you haven't seen that, go check that out. Uh, but so for today, I'm starting with Wii Video. So Wii Video is a cloud based based uh, app that you can edit videos on. I've uh, last year I was I showed this to hundreds of kids in the classroom from grade three all the way up to grade 12 and the projects and the creations that they were uh, creating. It was just amazing and the engagement factor that students have right now with video is such a powerful way to learn and to show what they have learned. So I'm going to jump into uh, we video here today and just so you know I am using a school version so this is not a free version. You can and test it out for free but it will be watermarked on it uh, so I am logging into my account to show you all the great things uh, that you can do and how easy it is to use so I'm gonna get logged in today on uh, using my Google account and just so you know when I taught this to students they were using Chromebooks Their division is Chromebooks and this works great on them because all you need is your browser I'm gonna go ahead get logged in with my Google account that I have set up with it. Uh, I'm just gonna go back to dashboard that just shows some pricing on it. And now I'm gonna go ahead and start an edit and I'm just gonna show you some of the key features in this and uh, it's not gonna be a full tutorial but just some of the great things that you can do with it. You can see you can start from templates but I'm just gonna start from my uh, new edit here. And so when I go into new edit, I'm gonna hit start editing and now uh, you can see all these different stock footage. So when you do get the school account, you get stock footage to use right away and you can search and there's thousands of titles. So if I put in animals like this, you can see all the different ones come up. So if you wanna put your footage in the timeline, so I could preview it so I, I can click on it and get these previews and you can show us how long each clip is by the time up here. But if you want to start editing anything, you can just drag down into the timeline. And so you can drag your playhead right over top of this here. Uh, you can see I'll grab a few different footage, different footage here, the clips that I'm dragging in. You can see here's another one. Now you can quickly trim if you wanted things to be uh, maybe a little shorter. You can see if I drag the edge of here, I can do this from both sides. I can trim this down. So if I wanted things quite short, and I'll just do it with a few different ones. So if I drag this over here, like so, and I'll just drag a few down for an example. We'll make a little montage here, uh, just with all these videos. I'll just do a short one here. I'll bring in the elephant and you can see the other way you can clip, if I go to here now, if I take it to the elephant and bring it and just use my scissors, I can hit delete on it and then I'll drag in a couple more. How about this ostr ostrich? and I'll just drag it here and I'll use the scissors this time and cut. So, whoops, and I'm gonna go Control Z back because you can use that. And now I have about five here. You can see I, if I play it, I have these short little clips here. Now, what I like also, you can add transitions in really easily. If I go up to the transitions up here, I'm gonna zoom up a little bit so I can see. So down here in the right hand corner, I can zoom up here and I can see my clips a little bit better. I can drag in transitions. I'll drag in a bunch of different ones and I can drag them in between, uh, right between the different ones. So now I got two different transitions in there and very easy to, to use. Now what uh, you can do is add music too. So you have stock video, but you also have stock, uh, uh, audio in here so if I wanted to listen to something you can see I get a little preview of it if I was gonna look for one well that sounds upbeat so maybe I drag this right down and now I have a little montage happening and you can cut the audio the same way so very quickly if I go here and cut and I could end it and I can also adjust the audio here by clicking at different, I can change the whole track by lowering it here. Or if I click this blue line, I can add points 
to just bring the audio to different places on it. I find kids just pick this up so quickly uh, and then you bring it in and you can have this nice little montage and you can change if you were talking, you could lower it down at different points. Now, the last thing I just wanna show you some editing here is the titles are so easy to use. So if you look at all these different titles, um, I could drag it onto another video track right above. And then so I hit play and I have a title. Of course, you don't want us to say my big bold message, but if I double click on it, now I can say, um, I'm just say all about, uh, we'll just say animals here. Animals and I'm just gonna leave uh, today. And I can quickly change the color. You can see if you wanted a different color, you can adjust the colors on this one. I hit save changes. And now I have this message on it. So again, you can see how students can pick this up very, very easily. You can go through and, um, and pick uh, more tracks. If you wanted more audio or video tracks, you can see how I can quickly add lots more tracks. I can do that to audio so I can keep layering things on it. Uh, so you can also upload your footage to, uh, to this too. And you can connect it right to your Google Drive account. So if I go to this one where my media is, you can see I have lots of different media in here. And so if I was gonna do a little green screen activity, what I can do is, uh, so if I have these chickens, we'll say these chickens here, and I'll just use this picture here. Now, this is backwards. What I have to do is make sure that the, the, the green screen is above, but watch this, it's only four clicks to get, a, uh, to get away the green. So if I click on this right here, click on the pencil. Now, if I go over here to color keying, and pick the eyedropper and then click on here, I have these chickens on the spaceship. So then I can go uh, to, uh, uh, I can go over to uh, all these different effects. You can see I have scale. I can uh, shrink them down and put them in different places. Now I have this little video of them eating on this spaceship, I can hit save. So adding effects like green screen, super easy to do. And you can see it's just by going to this little pencil and you can see all the different effects that you can do uh, from volume levels to animation, uh, to adjusting color, uh, to color keying, which I just showed you there. And uh, all the different things that even change the speed rate in it. Uh, you can also, if I go back uh, to this, you can see uh, where there's, uh, you can add different themes and different things. And also you can actually even record your screen. So if I go ahead and hit record my screen, you have to install an extension for this, but you can use the webcam or just record your screen uh, if you wanted to do some screen casting in this. You can also do your voice recording by clicking this and just make sure you allow the mic to upload. All you need to do is if you hit this green here, you can see you just browse to select, you upload it. And this is sometimes what I find takes a while when you're first uploading uh, your videos to WeVideo, depending on the size of it. But once they're there and they process, then everything's good to go. Uh, when you're all done your project, what you need to do is go to finish. So with finish, you just go through here, you pick a title, you pick your resolution. And so on the resolution on this, you can see uh, with the education account, the highest you can go is 720p. And then you would just go ahead and pick where you want it to go. Do you want it to go to YouTube? Do you want it to go right to Google Drive? A lot of times I have the students just uh, export it, it will be saved right into their Google Drive so they have a copy of their video and they just go ahead and hit export. I'm just gonna go back here. Uh, so just some other points again I'm not diving deep into these you can actually in admin go through and uh, set up groups and put students inside of it and manage and they can collaborate together they can't work on it at the exact same time but they could have different tasks to do and they could go view it and allows you as a teacher to go view what they're working on too so this was uh, just uh, kind of a quick overview today of we video as I said I use this a lot inside the classroom teaching students from grade 3 to 12 I hope you found this interesting give the free uh, one a, a try to see if it will work for you. I do have a full tutorial if you're interested in taking a look at that. But thank you, Seti, for having me on your channel to explain this uh, great app. And one other thing, this does have an app to it. it, does have a mobile app on it. So if you're interested in looking at that, you can do some easy editing on there too. 
So thank you, Seti, again, and I hope to be working with you again. See you soon. Thank you, Jamie, for that. I love WeVideo, and at the moment, if you're looking for a cloud-based solution to your video editing, WeVideo should be at the top of your list. Now, thank you, Jamie, for walking us through that. I will leave links in the description below to both Jamie's channel and my video on his channel, which was a video on podcasting using Synth. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more collaborations in the future, let me know in that comment section. In the meantime, you can watch one of the previous videos and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.